How's it going, Wastelanders? I have a brand new company to show off to you. Hey guys, this is Chris Drake from Drake Associates. We want to show you the brand new patented Athena chassis rifle that was specifically developed for the AR-10 and AR-15 community. It's the first of its own kind. We've uh, been have 24 months in development on this gun platform. It's a chassis rifle, which is unlike everything else out there. It's the first iteration of something brand new since the, on the AR series since something came out in the 50s. So what does chassis mean to those that don't care? What most people think, what most people think of an AR-10 or AR-15, yes. and they call free float, is one of these commercial tubes. They, they think that today a free float gun is, is a commercial tube. Technically, it is free floated, but it's really not. Yeah. What we're looking for here is, and you saw all the technology in the bolt, the bolt guns. Yeah. Um, what we've employed is the same technology in the AR-10 and AR-15 chassis. What we've done is we've locked in the upper receiver into a monolithic chassis. Okay. We've put a, um, we've, we've, so we've locked this in and we've put a lot of attention to detail to make sure that nothing touches the barrel nut, the barrel, or the gas system. It's totally free floating. What makes this different over the commercial system that you're normally used yeah. to is we don't transfer energy from the free float tube to the barrel nut to the pin set where accuracy degrades. This is just like the precision bolt guns of today. This is one long monolithic chassis where the chassis, where the uh, action's bedded in and there's no energy transfer into that barrel nut. That barrel rep is actually truly free float. That's right. So it doesn't have that whip that will uh, do the little flyer? No, so you're not, what you're not getting is when you load the bipod, you're not getting all those forces and pressures on that free float tube that you're commonly used to. But when you load the bipod, just like the uh, proven chassis systems on the bolt guns, mm -hmm. it works the same way. So it keeps that energy from out of that system of the gun. We've seen some really cool results with this too. A lot of people have asked, hey, what kind of accuracy are you seeing on this? So we took one of our upper receivers, we used a precision um, button cut rifle barrel from Steve Saturn, or Saturn Barrels. It was a uh, one in seven, five R, 18 inch heavy barrel. Um, this is the cut rifle version of it. And we put that upper receiver into a Colt brand lower receiver. We put our trigger group, our pistol grip, our buttstock on, and shot that configuration with the same scope for score. Yeah. Um, with the score, the, the, the gun platform itself, it yielded, it was pretty good, it yielded a 1.4 MY, you know, the Colt configuration. And I said, wait, let's let's then retest like we know we're gonna go to. So we dropped that upper receiver, removed the four-end tube off, and everything stayed the same, dropped it in the chassis, it cut the group size uh, to 0.7 MOA, which was about a 49% accuracy increase. That was, so we did the same test again with the cut rifle barrel, and it dropped the group to a uh, low 0.6 MOA, uh, which was a 51% accuracy increase that we saw at 100 meters. Um, the best groups that we saw out of the button cut barrel was a 0.3 MOA, and then out of the cut rifle barrel, the best groups that we saw was a um, 0.186 MOA. Um, the gun's very consistent, and that's what's really nice about the chassis platform, is this gun itself is super consistent. And it was one of the things that were really important for guys that are long range shooters. Um, we developed the gun for multiple disciplines. We uh, looked at hunters, we looked at competition shooters, we looked at military, we wanted law enforcement guys, all to have a great gun platform. And some of us hunters and bond hunters, we all know sometimes it's 500 yards, 600 yards, quite really different. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And we also wanted the, everyone says, hey, do you have the AR 10? We said, yeah, we do. It's, it's over there, but we're not releasing that yet. We wanted to get this out to the larger demographic. The guys that have, have had every version of the AR-15 since the beginning of time. And we wanted to show them, hey, we've got something precision, we've got something really worth looking at, um, something different. And it's not just your average AR-15 that's in your vault, it's something brand new, and like I said, it's brand new patented technology, it was something really cool. Let me show you something real fast. I just want to show you the gun platform itself, and I'm gonna show you another feature on another gun itself. Cool. So what I like about this on the chassis platform is we took a lot of influence. We're long range guys, we did the, uh, programs from Savage for the Stealth and Stealth Evolution in uh, large volumes. Yeah. Um, our guns won at the International Sniper Comp in the Open Division in 2017. Right. Um, they came in second place overall in the Sniper Comp and uh, first place in the Open Division. But we did a lot of uh, lessons learned from all that work we've done. So when you look at the gun platform, we wanted a large, wide foreign. Okay, yeah. large, wide foreign. If you're gonna shoot off a pack, we wanted that off a pack. If you wanted to shoot off a barricade, 
we wanted to make sure on the AR platform that there was enough clearance between the curvature of the magazine and the barricade. Here's the other thing also we see is guys that are shooting ARs, what do they do? They always grab the mag. I want to take the pressure off the magazine and put a finger groove index just to keep the guy's hand off that magazine for reliability. Nice. Okay? The gun comes with a couple of different options. Uh, our standard gun is more of a collapsible uh, stock option. We've got some upgrades to it. Um, some of the upgrades include moving from a button cut barrel to a cut rifle barrel, but it's all a match. Both Either one's a great choice. Um, we're giving a match trigger group in the gun system. And I want to show you one more cool feature on the gun real quick. Okay. If I could just hand this to you for one second, let me grab sure. another rifle. Oh. Yeah, it's badass. So let me just, while you hold that, let me show you this real quick. So we targeted the weight of the same weight of the gun platform as the M16A4, which was what was accepted by the military. But for the military guys and law enforcement guys, sometimes you'll run a night vision optic, you'll run a thermal, mm -hmm. and you want to set it and forget it. You don't, you, you're running a, um, a laser, an IR laser. You don't want to keep coming back and forth and having to re-zero that. So we have a system that the fore end will slide in and out. It's almost, it, it's the newer version, we, we call it Sat Mod D for Drake, yeah. but it's a newer way of taking a look at this. We've got 45 degree angle offsets, um, and we have 90 degree uh, pick to So basically, you can have multiple of these for a different loadout? Yes, yes. Give me All one right. second, one okay. second. Hold on guys, let me just put this back so I can come back and talk about this yep. gun. It doesn't even weigh that much. So anyway, so on the gun platform, hey, thanks again. Yeah. So on the gun platform, we're really, again, we're precision oriented, but we want to also get to those other market segments and market communities yeah. and make sure that we can get a great product out to people really interested in, you know, improving the accuracy and performance mm -hmm. of the gun platform. For more information on us, please feel free to visit us at drakeassociates.us. My name is Chris Drake. I'm one of the, actually, owners and designers of the company. It's, um, it's very it's beautiful. Right? Thank you. Thank I you. Like, like seeing something new. Absolutely. And, uh, me, I like precision. Excellent. I like the problem solving. So it looks like a beautiful rifle. Well, thank you for thank you for coming out. And yeah. We we'll look forward to some more conversations with thank you. you for that. For All the best. Everything. Okay, great guys. Have a good time.